Straight into what's popping, Harvey Weinstein, former film studio, is reportedly heading for bankruptcy. The Weinstein company was close to a half a billion dollar deal with investors just a few weeks ago. But the studio says the sale collapsed after investors failed to provide money to keep the company afloat while the deal was being finalised. Discuss discussions came to a halter earlier this month when the New York Attorney General's office filed a lawsuit claiming the company's covered up sexual harassment complaints actually against Weinstein. Wow, wow. Clueless actress and former Fox News commentator Stacey Dash is running for Congress. Dash, an outspoken Republican, filed paperwork Monday in California's 44th District, which has a long history of Democratic representation. It includes Compton, Watts, San Pedro, and North Long Beach. Dash emerged as a controversial figure in 2016 when she called the Oscar So White boycott ludicrous and said there has there, that there is no need for Black History Month. She has not publicly issued a statement about her run for office, but teased the possibility on social media earlier this month. Yeah, I can see wow. that's going to work out for her. Disney Black Panther is lending a paw to kids. Indeed, the film has earned $700 million globally since its release two weeks ago. Disney says it's donating $1 million of profits to the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, among the cities that will benefit Atlanta, Baltimore, New York, and Washington. Now, according to a news release, the funds will go towards the group's STEM programs for science, technology, engineering, and math. Wonderful. Actress Heather Locklear has been arrested and charged with domestic violence and battery on a police officer. Entertainment Tonight confirms the actress was taken into custody on Sunday night after a domestic disturbance call involving her boyfriend. When authorities arrived on scene, Locklear was uncooperative and battered three of the deputies on scene. The call occurred due to reports that Locklear was physically abusing her boyfriend. Well, maybe she was reenacting Melrose Place. <laughs> the Kings of Metal return Metallica has announced North American tour dates for its worldwide tour. 34 shows are set to fair beginning September 2nd in Madison, Wisconsin and running through next March. Need more info? Don't bang your head. Just point your browser to worldwide wired, I should say, dot metallica dot Calm. There it is. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm buying those tickets today. <laughs> Queen Latifah is getting inspirational. She's set to star in Hope, Hope's Wish, a drama based on a true story about a girl diagnosed with a life-threatening illness. Latifah will play an executive at the Make-A-Wish Foundation who helps the girl with her wish to fund the wishes of 155 other sick children. Well, she's back in the news again. Learn about physical... Oh, and we're busting out the story. <laughs> Guess what, everyone? Learn about aquatic physical therapy after the break. You're watching Midday Kentucky.